What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today I have some more new information on the leaked pilot school update which is most likely to come with patch 1.16. I did do a video on this yesterday which has a ton of information in it. Definitely go check it out if you haven't already, it will be linked in the description. But recently there has been some more information that has been found which includes information on a new mammoth hydrojet, including its features, as well as the prices of all the vehicles in the update. Before I jump right into this information, I want to thank Chrome Mods for this leaked info. Be sure to check him out in the description below. He's a credible leaker who I've talked to before and has a high percentage of accuracy. With that being said, I'm very confident that this information is legit, but always take this kind of stuff with a grain of salt just in case Rockstar does change something. Like I said, this leaked information is about the Pilot School DLC, which is most likely patch 1.16 and it's most likely coming this Tuesday. And the reason I say that is because this coming Tuesday, August 19th, is the National Aviation Day in the USA. Now onto the new details. First up, we have the Mammoth Hydra. Of course, this is the Hydra from GTA San Andreas that most of you know, and it's also the Hydra that we saw in one of the early gameplay trailers. This is going to cost $1.7 million to purchase in GTA Online, and it will have its hover mode that most of you probably saw in GTA San Andreas. What's actually really interesting is that the code suggests that it's going to be a two-seater jet, which is pretty cool. Onto the next plane, we have the Western Basera, and this thing is going to cost a whopping nearly $2 million to purchase, making it the most expensive thing you could purchase in GTA Online. And by by far the most expensive thing that you could purchase through the updates. Next up we have the Buckingham Milljet, the one that apparently seats 16 players which is a full lobby in GTA Online. This one is going to cost 1.25 million dollars so definitely not as much as the Basera or the Hydra making it the least expensive plane that you could buy in this update. Finally we have the Inventero Coquette and it is at $665,000 and this is confirmed to be a vehicle because it's not in the same category in the coding as the other three planes. Finally, the last piece of information I have to give you is that the Basera and the Milljet spawn at Trevor's airfield in the hangar. This is quite interesting because Trevor's hangar isn't that big and you can't really fit like a Titan in there. So definitely the Basera and the Milljet will be smaller than the Titan, which actually makes me wonder what they're going to look like, especially the Milljet because it can fit up to 16 players. Now with all that being said, this update seems to be very pricey, I mean if you add everything together, if you want to buy everything, it will cost you a whopping $5.6 million, so definitely start grinding and doing some rooftop rumble if you haven't already, and of course that price doesn't include the new helicopter that's supposedly to come out, or any of the new parachutes or reserve parachutes or clothing or anything like that. To help you guys out, and thank you guys so much for all your amazing support, I will be giving away a couple of shark cards this weekend, so just pay attention to videos, or just follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash typicalgamer for more information. I'm really excited for this update, and I hope you guys are too. That's what I want to know today. Are you guys excited for this update and which part is the most exciting to you? Be sure to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.